Nowadays, when you stop by one of the rest areas on I-85 and I-40, you can do more than just get refreshments or use the bathroom. You can now plug up your electric car. Using a grant from the North Carolina Department of Transportation, Praxis Technologies has installed these plug-in power stations for electric vehicles. Executive Albert Kurtz of Praxis Technologies is elated over it. You subscribe to this card. This is ChargePoint, as you can see, the ChargePoint network, your, your subscription. This is one way. We go up to the station, you swipe the card across the face of the station, and it unlocks the box, if you will, unlocks the... Once the connection is made, electricity starts flowing. It does not, no electricity flows until the connection's made properly. And then when it's done, when it's taken off, we seat it back in the saddle and it locks itself up again. Although the service requires a credit card or a subscription to a card service, the service provided by Praxis Technologies and the Department of Transportation is free. The goal of the grant was, or, or the way the grant was initiated was through a competitive process. So our, com our competition was how, how much carbon we can offset. So we are very passionate about offsetting carbon and measuring the offset carbon and things like that as praxis. And this is a great example of that, um, you know, that, that process. Steve Martin, who is a car salesman with Michael Jordan Nissan, says that initiatives like this power station are very key to getting more electric cars on the streets of North Carolina. This is an infrastructure situation. It's just like when gas-powered vehicles first took a, first started working out. You had to plan out your trips to get to the right place to get gas. Mm -hmm. And uh, while infrastructure builds out, you'll need to do that if you're going to use these for long distances. The, the 240 volt is really the quickest charge that's available right now. There is a 480 volt commercial charging that can, you can top it off 80% in about 15 minutes. When those start popping up or this gets upgraded to that in a couple of years, that's really what's going to extend range and make it a reasonable. Well, well I think um, obviously they look at areas that show a commitment to uh, green technology and the Durham, Raleigh, Chapel Hill, Carver areas has been a leader in that and they've test marketed uh, many products in the past and many new technologies. North Carolina Department of Transportation says they hope to have at least 20 sites at rest areas across the state of North Carolina for plug-in electric car use by the end of the year. From Alamance County, this is Matt Smith reporting for Star News.